we have a triple threat. Is Tiffany's content keeping you updated on the possible tropical cyclone formations in the next few days that is also planning to make landfall in the next few days? So let's take a look. In the Atlantic Ocean, we still have 94L there trying to strengthen, but the cone of uncertainty is definitely well into the islands. And it looks like the National Hurricane Center is finally making that little curve out but definitely still a threat. Switching over to the Pacific side, you're gonna see that 90E has a 90% development within the next two days. And we're just gonna call the other one 91E just for the sake of this conversation, but both definitely planning to form within the next few days. So today we're gonna to look at this global ensemble and it has a probability for percentages of tropical cyclones forming. And you see, this, there go our three right there, the Southern Mexico near, you know, Guatemala. It's one coming out of South America, but would definitely be going up to Mexico. And then we have the one in the Lesser Antilles. So look at the base probability now. The other one was 48 hours. This is within 120 hours. Wow, look at the massive colors now with that percentage of probability going way up to 100% in some areas. So we definitely have a triple threat. So now let's take a look at the gym model and this will definitely show you 94L still threatening the lesser antilles. Then you have 90E over there in Mexico, the other one by Guatemala forming, and we definitely see that they are all happening at the same time. You see that the other one here is a little bit late, but it's still gonna come in right where 90E left. And we have a triple threat of possible hurricanes, Mexico, Guatemala, and Caribbean islands. Definitely on a watch, on alert. And all of this weather can come right back up to the United States. Giving us a taste of that nasty weather is Tiffany's content. Like, share, subscribe.